I'm gonna be writing some code to order a pizza to my apartment in real life whenever I hit a certain button in Minecraft. Now you may be asking yourself why, and uh, that's a good question. To be honest, I don't know. Why not, I guess? So I first found out about ordering pizza through code a few years ago by another YouTuber by the name of Jarvis Johnson. Basically, he wrote a Python script to order a pizza to his apartment. I wanted to take this a step further and uh, come up with the absolute dumbest way to order pizza through code. And uh, this is what I came up with. So this is how we're gonna do it. In order to get this to work, there's a few pieces that we're gonna need. So to quickly clarify, I'm not gonna be actually writing a mod for Minecraft in its literal sense. I'm gonna be writing a plugin for a mod Minecraft server. And the reason for this is I don't really need to mod the game. I just need to somehow wire up a button to run some code and somehow order me a pizza. Also, by making this a plugin, other people will be able to use their uh, vanilla Minecraft client and join my Minecraft server and hit a button to order a pizza. All right, so how are we gonna get this to work? First off, we need to interact with a pizza API. Now, API stands for Application Programming Interface, if you're not familiar. Basically, this will allow us to interact with services from a different platform. In this case, that platform we're gonna be using is Domino's. So to interface with this API, I found a JavaScript project from another YouTuber that goes by the name of Coding Garden. So huge shout out to them for making my life a little bit easier. Now I'm gonna be slightly modifying Coding Garden's project to work for my specific uh, use case. So I'll need to house this JavaScript project in a server somewhere so I can hit it as an endpoint. Now in the most basic terms, an endpoint is a web URL that you can hit via browser or other means that will return us some data. Now in the case of ordering a pizza, it will hit our endpoint behind the scenes it will run some javascript code place an order for a pizza and return data in the form of a success or a failure message i'll be going with amazon web services to house this ordering script and uh, generate endpoints for us so once our ordering script is squared away the next thing we need to do is somehow write some code to hook into a button in minecraft so whenever we click that button it will send a request to our ordering script and process our order so how are we going to do this well the first thing we're going to need is a minecraft client Duh. Second, we'll need to spin up a local Minecraft server. Now, in order to mod our server, we need to run a custom version of a Minecraft server known as a Spigot server. This will allow us to create custom plugins to interface with the Minecraft API. So once our server is running locally, this is where we can start writing our custom plugin. Now, this is the most exciting part, at least for me. So the version of Minecraft that I'm using is Java based. So technically I can write some Java code to hook into a button to send their quest to order a pizza. But because I'm a nerd, I'm not gonna be using Java. I'm gonna be using a programming language called Kotlin. And for the sake of simplicity, you can think of Kotlin as a relative to Java, if you're not familiar with it. If Java were a Toyota Camry, you know, a very reliable vehicle, Kotlin would be like a Mercedes Benz or a BMW. Once we write our Kotlin code, we can add this as a plugin to our Spigot Minecraft server. Once we do that, the last thing we need to do is literally hit a button in Minecraft. And if everything works, it should order us some pizza. So let's hop on the computer and start writing this code. All right, so in the interest of not making this video super long and boring, I've pretty much written all the code that is needed to get this project to work, but I think it's important to go over it just so you get the gist of what's going on here. And after I go through all this code, we're gonna actually attempt to order a pizza through Minecraft. All right, so let's go ahead and start by taking a look at this ordering script. So I've already forked and cloned Coding Garden's repo from GitHub. So we'll quickly go over this, and to be honest, it's actually pretty simple. The first thing we need to do is build our order. So our order consists of a bunch of different parameters, but we only have to worry about updating a few. Basically, we just need to update our address, the email, first last name, the phone number, and then we need to actually build our order here. In Coding Garden's example here, he's using the code 12 thin, which I think is just a thin crust pizza. But in my script, I'll be ordering an item with the code 14 schmitza. Basically just a pizza with a bunch of meat, you know, for them gains. And then the next thing I have to do is update this store ID here. This can be found on the Domino's website when selecting a store to order from or with the pizza API provided from Coding Garden. Then after that, all we need to do is validate our order against the Domino's API, price the order out, and add my credit card as a method of payment. 
And then the very last thing we need to do is just place the order. And that's it. So I've already filled out all the sensitive information in this order.js file. And I've also added a bit of code so that our script can be used with an AWS Lambda function. So this script is already uploaded to AWS and ready to be used as an endpoint. So here in AWS, you see I have two endpoints, one with the name of order pizza and one with the name of test order. We'll be using the order pizza endpoint when we actually want to uh, create our pizza order. But for testing purposes, we're just gonna uh, stick with the test order so that when we hook into our API, we're not actually ordering a pizza when we click a button in Minecraft. And if I actually test this test order endpoint here, you see it just returns a simple success message that currently says creating your test pizza order. So that's pretty much it for this part of the diagram. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Minecraft plugin code. So here we are in the Minecraft plugin code. We have this pizza plugin class, which essentially acts as an entry point into our plugin. Within this class, we have two main functions, on enable and on command. For the sake of this video, we don't have to worry about on command. And on enable, we're wiring up a listener that essentially listens for whenever a player clicks a button, hence the name player button click listener. So if we go into our player button click listener class, we have a function that is basically checking for every time a player clicks a jungle button in Minecraft. I chose jungle button because I don't want this to work with any regular button. Whenever a player does click the jungle button, we'll send a message to that player saying creating your pizza order. Next, we send a request to our ordering script using this web helper class here. All this does is pretty much hit an endpoint in AWS to order pizza. Right now you see it's wired up to our test order endpoint that we have created. Once we get a response from AWS, we broadcast a whole message to the server that a pizza has been ordered. And lastly, we send a message to the user. Now the message we're sending to the user is the response that we get back from AWS. And that's pretty much it. So I've already added this as a plugin to my Minecraft server. So every time we click a jungle button, Something like this should happen. So the last message you see here, creating your test pizza order, this is coming directly from our AWS uh, test Lambda function. And to prove that to you, if I update our test function in Lambda here to creating your test pizza order, YouTube, deploy those changes, click the button again, it will reflect here on our Minecraft client. All right guys, so that's it. Sorry for the quick breeze, but a full tutorial would actually take me hours to do. Anyways, I'm gonna wire up this code to point to the actual pizza ordering endpoint. And for the first time, we're gonna test if our code works and if we can actually order a pizza through Minecraft. All right, so we have all the code deployed. I have the Minecraft server running. Now it's time to finally test everything to see if I can actually hit a button in Minecraft and order a pizza to my apartment. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. It's not gonna work. I haven't even tested this at all yet with a real pizza order, so I guess we'll find out. And to make things a little fun, I decided to invite my friend DJ to do the honors of hitting the button for me to order a pizza to my house. I brought you here today to do me a favor. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you follow me real quick? Okay. All right, so listen carefully, okay? Uh-huh. You see this button right here? Yeah. Um, I need you to hit this button for me to uh, order me a pizza to, to my apartment. But make sure you follow these instructions very carefully, okay? Only hit it once, because every time you hit the button, it will actually charge my credit card. <laughs> what do you got to say? Only one time? <laughs> Yeah, only one time. But every time I click it, it charges your credit card. Every time you click it, it charges my credit card. No, maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, no, 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 did you hit it again? <laughs> Don't touch it. Did you hit it twice? No. Oh, DJ. <laughs> did that actually order a pizza? Was that what you brought me here to do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you told you to listen. I told you to follow my instructions. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, it looked like it looks like I did get an error. Okay, maybe it didn't go through. So, oh, I just got a call from Domino's. Bro, it went through. I, no. <laughs> I swear to God. No. Your Domino's, your Domino's order, right here. So something failed in my, it, so it sent the request to order me a pizza and it actually ordered <laughs> to my apartment. It got two orders. No. It, it got two orders, DJ. 
for $23.95. Let me look at my credit card and see if it charged me twice. Yep, I got charged twice. <laughs> DJ, you owe me, you owe me no, money. For this you people. can't, you can't put this on me. <laughs> you, you set up a thing for me where I have no consequences. For, I'll fucking push it again. T tell me I won't. Tell me. <laughs> all right, all right. Get out of here with that, bro. Get out of here. Okay, we're done, DJ. We're done. Hello? Oh, you got the pizza? Yeah, in, it, the lobby, yeah. in the lobby? Okay, I'll come get it. Yeah, Alright, thank you. Holy shit, my pizza's here. Actually. Oh, that was fu- that was quick. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. You too. We got the pizza. So it does look like Domino's recognized that uh, the double order was a mishap. So that's pretty good, I guess. So we got the 14-inch uh, pizza here, which is the one that we ordered through code. Let's just pause the video right here real quick. All right, cool. So hey guys, editing Kenny here. When I was recording that outro, I failed to mention a couple things. First off, don't trust your friends with your credit card. Second off, some of the code did error up to the point of broadcasting a message to the whole server. But the most important part, the part that actually ordered a pizza, that part worked. I still have to dive into why it didn't broadcast a message to the server. Either way, I'd say this was a success, right? I mean, we managed to order a pizza through Minecraft, which, it's pretty cool. Anyways, all this code is in my GitHub, so check the description if you're interested in that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.